subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome back to another episode of Scientific where I Mohana Basu take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week scientists have reported partially restoring the sight of a blind patient by genetically altering their cells so they produce more light sensitive proteins. The technique used is known as optogenetics and has been developed in the field of neuroscience over the last 20 years. In some cases of blindness known as inherited photoreceptor diseases, light sensing cells in the retina that use proteins to deliver visual information to the brain via the optic nerve progressively degenerate. The team began treating a man who had lost his sight due to an inherited photoreceptor disease 40 years ago using optogenetic techniques. This involved injections in his eye along with light emitting goggles which transformed the images of the visual world into light pulses projected into the re- retina in real time. They were eventually able to restore partial sight for the 58 year old patient leaving him able to recognize to count to locate and to touch different kinds of objects laid out on a table. However, the team says that it will still take time until this therapy can be offered to patients. Meanwhile, scientists at Cornell University have built a high-powered detector that has captured the image of atoms at the highest ever resolution, breaking a world record that the team had set in 2018. In 2018 the team had managed to triple the resolution of a state of the art electron microscope. However, the approach only worked with ultra thin samples that were a few atoms thick. Now, the team has bested its own record by a factor of 2 with an electron microscope pixel array detector that incorporates even more sophisticated 3D reconstruction algorithms. The resolution is so fine tuned that the only blurring that remains is the thermal jiggling of the atoms themselves. The team now says that they can now figure out where the atoms are in a very easy way. It opens up the possibilities of making a new set of measurements that would solve many long standing problems in physics this ta- latest technology will enable scientists to locate individual atoms in all three dimensions when they might otherwise be hidden using imaging methods the researchers will also be able to find impurity in atoms and image them and their vibrations one at a time This could be particularly helpful in imaging semiconductors, catalysts and quantum materials including those used in quantum computing as well as analyzing atoms at the boundaries where materials are joined together. Also this week scientists have discovered that monkeys pick up the accent of another species when they enter their territory to help them better understand one another and to potentially avoid conflict. The study is the first to show such behavior in primates. Researchers from the Anglia Ruskin University studied the behavior of 15 groups of pied tamarins or Saguenus bicolor and red-handed tamarins which are known as Saguenus midas in the Brazilian Amazon. Pied tamarins are critically endangered and and have one of the smallest ranges of any primate in the world. Much of it is around the city of Manaus. On the other hand, red-handed tam- tamarins are found throughout the northeastern Amazon. The researchers found that when groups of red-handed tamarins entered the territory shared with pied tamarins, the red-handed tamarins adopted the long calls used by the pied tamarins. Red-handed tamarins have greater vocal flexibility and use calls more often than pied tamarins. The scientists believe that they might alter their calls to avoid territorial disputes over resources. In other news, the world is likely to be 1.5 degrees Celsius hotter in at least once in the next 5 years, breaching the lower limit set by the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Research published by the World Meteorological Organization has shown that by 2025 there's a 40% chance of at least one year being 1.5 degrees Celsius hotter than the pre-industrial levels. The analysis is based on modeling by the UK Met Office and climate researchers in 10 countries including the US and China. 
In the last decade, it was estimated that the chance of any one year reaching the 1.5 degree Celsius threshold was only 20%. This new assessment puts that risk at 40%. Also this week, scientists have confirmed that a giant tortoise found in the Galapagos Islands in 2019 is a species that was considered extinct 100 years ago. Researchers are now preparing for an expedition to search for more of the giant tortoises in an attempt to save the species. In 2019, the turtle was found in during an expedition in Ecuador using genetic studies. Scientists at the Yale University had then identified the species which had been considered extinct more than a century ago. The DNA comparison was made using a specimen extracted in 1906. The Galapagos Islands, home to a variety of species, also serves as the basis for the British scientist Charles Darwin's theory of evolution of species in the 19th century. It also houses a large amount of flora and fauna in danger of extinction. That is all for this week. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. Don't forget to subscribe to The Print's YouTube channel for the latest news updates.